Well, hello there. It's your Starlight Rainbow Eagle. Bless you. Today's the 25th of October. I'm sitting in my tent and uh, I'm a Taurus, by the way, and we just had the full moon eclipse in Taurus. I believe that's correct. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, um, whether or not that's correct or not, full moons are for release, and I just went through a hell of one. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, you know, everything is pretty fucking perfect. Um, I was just ruminating as I started to make this video after sobbing for well over an hour or so because I connected with uh, Mother Father and uh, that's why I don't do more channelings on here because I break down honestly I feel so much love and gratitude I can't uh, I mean if you want to see snot literally running out of my nose <laughs> Uh, that's what happens sometimes and I know if you watch some of my tra channelings I start crying um, and that's why sometimes I don't even connect because I'm like I can't take having to blow my nose and wipe my eyes you can see my eyes are red I've been wiping them with the tissues <laughs> anyway uh, forgive my appearance it's been cold and I didn't shave today. And anyway, I'm just, um, um, had remembered when I first, uh, spoke with Mother Father, or that's the way I'll put it anyway. Um, I was in solitary confinement, which I spent five days when they charged me with this crazy attempt on my life and robbery I got charged um, I ended up uh, in solitary in jail for a month the charges were just dismissed thank God after three years anyway uh, those were on the other video that's on the other videos um I realized that she had spoken to me the first time in there. I really hadn't thought about that a whole lot over the past few years. You know, I had thought about it a few times. And I just connected and it was like my eyes were open to like seeing God sitting there beside me in the uh, jail cell and realizing she was there with me the whole five days and just sat down with me. See now I'm going to start getting emotional because she'll start channeling but I just, I'm going to try not to. <laughs> but it's so, um, you know, and I just, a minute, a while ago, I, I just started sobbing from the gratitude of realizing, you know, because in the Bible it says, you know, he who has eyes to see, see, and he who has ears to hear, hear, and I had just been realizing that I'm seeing lights, you know, around people who, who are, uh, I'm starting to get the sight, what you would call, with the third eye. I never really experienced that much, I just, I use my intuition, which is really good, it's just part of the intuition anyway. Okay, and um, anyway, man, and I just, you know, I get this vision of myself as like a conduit of just pure energy coming down like into a cup, you know, like it says, my cup runneth over, and I, so I, I did my Buddhist prayers, because I've been going through it, uh, you know, I, I've been kind of cold and not having access to a shower, or, having to walk in and out of the woods and every camping in the woods and no money 
you know, my friend bought me some things today, which is very kind of her. And, uh, and so, so, you know, and I know usually when I run out of herb, it's always the angels trying to make me realize some kind of lesson or my higher conscience. However, however it works, I don't really care. It works great to me. <laughs> They're my companions, and I love talking with them. They joke with me and everything, so it's really great. But, you know, we're all spirit, and we're all connected and I've just been learning so much and uh, seeing I made a major breakthrough with myself you know and I won't go into that really because it probably won't make a lot of sense to people but it has to do with layers of resentment and trauma duh <laughs> doesn't it always okay something like that frustration you know past life whatever just working through an ex expansion and I got the expansion and I was thinking about Cryon's channelings you know where he says you know how do you teach a blind person to see color <laughs> you gotta teach them to see but uh, I was hearing from the spirit I have eyes to see and I have ears to hear Someone asked me today, how do you know if you're awake? My first thought, well, you won't feel like a human anymore. <laughs> because for uh, months after I woke, I was calling other people humans. And I was like, why am I calling people? I think I had just connected a whole lot with my higher Arcturian and Pleiadian selves at the time because I channel in I, for weeks when I first woke up I would channel in Jesus for a week then I would channel Buddha for a week and I guess I was channeling other stuff that I'm just becoming aware of after three years anyway it was wonderful I, I really remembered talking with mother father in that cell and the cell lighting up it's like my eyes just lit up and I've been thinking about so many things. Anyway, I'll just say it's a major breakthrough for me. And, you know, of course, it's tough being out here, you know, but man, the rewards, because I talk with Mother Father and I always go, when I really go through it, after I come out of it, I'll be like, I'm still here, Mother. <laughs> But that's all I can say because I said I would be here for her and she's here for me. And she's inside me. And when, and when I'm for other people, I know I'm for Mother, Father, God. So that's why it's worthwhile forgiving people and learning the lessons. And I may not have to work hard I work damn hard on my emotions and on my consciousness and on helping others. I put my all into it. <laughs> Buddha mind, Buddha speech, Buddha body. Um. Namaste, Mother Father loves you, and I love you. I am the Starlight Rainbow, blessed be.